Have you ever worked with online forms? If you have, then you've likely run into the issue of receiving answers that don't make any sense. For instance, maybe you're asking for a phone number, but the answer field says dog. This is not just a minor frustration. When a submitted form has incomplete, incorrect, or missing information, it is probably useless. It's even worse if it's an order form and has incorrectly formatted payment or shipping information. The solution to this problem, form field validation. Field validation is an automated process of ascertaining that each field contains the correct value before the form is accepted. Today we'll be looking at different types of field validations and how to set it up properly. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Let's jump right in. There are many different types of field validation. They all work in a slightly different way and have different results. First, we have required field flags. This is the simplest form of field validation. This alerts the person completing the form that their submission will not be accepted if the field is empty. This does not verify that the response in any field is correct, but only that a response was given. This form of validation is usually combined with other kinds of validation. We also have pattern match validation. This determines whether the answer in a field is formatted correctly, such as making sure that the response is a number and not a letter or that the submission is at least a certain number of characters long. This type of validation is a good idea for required fields to make certain every phone number and email address is formatted correctly. There is also server-side validation. Field validations can occur before or after the submit button is clicked and the form is submitted. The most common approach is where the form is verified after submission, which is known as server-side validation. If an incorrect response is submitted, it usually causes the page to reload with a warning and indicates which fields have incorrect values. This form of validation can be frustrating for survey respondents. It adds extra time to the process, but it's much easier to implement and allows for more powerful validation methods. And lastly, we have client-side validation. This is where the person completing the form is alerted to a problem with their answer as soon as they complete a field. This is also known as real-time validation. With client-side validation, it is more likely that the person completing the form will correct their own mistake instead of giving up on the form. The drawback is that this is more difficult to implement and might not work correctly on every device. The best way to ensure that every submission is correct is by combining client-side and server-side validation. Now, how do you set up field validation? Setting up pattern match validation manually can be tricky, and many common patterns are more complicated than they seem at first. For instance, a US phone number may seem like a simple pattern of 10 digits, but those digits can be written in a variety of ways. They can be written with parentheses around the first three numbers, or they can be written without any punctuation at all. They can also be written with a one in the front and then parentheses around the next three numbers, which is actually 11 digits. While they all represent valid phone numbers, they could all be invalid if they use an invalid area code. Plus, the respondent's phone number could be from outside of the US. The good news is computer scientists and engineers have worked on these problems for years. One of the easiest solutions is JotForm, which has widgets that can automatically validate fields. Now, let's review. We looked at several different types of field validations today. Required field flags, pattern match, server side, and client side. When it comes to setting up field validations, the easiest way to do it is with JotForm widgets. There's no need to make the process more complicated for yourself. By utilizing field validations, you will both increase the value of your forms and get the information that you need. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Have a good one, everybody.